In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up a counter. If you're watching this video, it's because you've probably seen a counter in another server before, and I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step on how to get one set up on your server. For this, we're gonna be using a custom command from the yakpdb bot, because I've tried other counter bots and they're not good, to say the least. This one worked pretty good in my server, so I'm gonna show you how I set it up. First, let's go to your server, and here we're gonna get the few steps done first. We're gonna create first the counter channel. Right click and create a channel. I'm pretty sure you know how to do this counter there we go and then we're going to create a role called counter as well so we go to server settings and then roles and uh, discord changed this thing is so confusing create role i guess and i'm going to call it counter counter yeah there you go because i am extra so counter we have this role created so now that we have the channel and the role created let's go to yakpdb.xyz i'm going to set the screen side by side i hope you guys don't mind okay so now that i have screen side by side i'm gonna go here to yakpdb.xyz control panel and logging using discord okay so i've logged in using discord i'm gonna go to select my server and it's got an invisible name you're not going crazy. I actually set it up that way. Um, so this is the invisible name server. And I'm going to click on authorize. And I'm human. All right. As you can see, now we have the Jack PDB bot in our server. That's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and select our server again. And nice. I think we're set up now. Let's go to core and let's go to custom commands. This is gonna seem a little complicated, but if you follow step by step, you won't get lost. The commands that we're going to create are all included in this document that I've also shared in the description of this video. So we're going to create five commands, one, two, three, four, five, and they all have some code. Some are shorter, the others are longer, but don't worry about that. So I'm going to fit the screens just so that I have enough um, size. All right. Here we go. So we have the five commands, right? So, so here on the YAKPDB dashboard, we're going to create five commands. But first, I'm going to create a group just to have it neatly organized. So I click on the plus sign up here, and I'm going to call it counter. There we go. And I'm going to leave everything as default. Save group settings. Good. So I'll click on the counter, right? I'm in this tab. I'm going to click on create new custom command. Now, Following these instructions, you're going to have the trigger type, which is going to be this option right here. And then that's the value. Then you're going to have the trigger um, and then you're going to put that here and that's going to be the value as well. And then you're going to have the command, which you're going to put in this part. And then maybe any settings, I'll just show you along, right? So we're going to create the first command, which says that the trigger type is re rejects. I don't know how to say that. I'm going to select rejects, right? And then the trigger is going to be this um, shout out to the yak pdb community which were the ones who actually coded these custom commands they're pretty dope i'm gonna include the link in the description to their server i don't know i hope that helps them um anyways so we have the trigger um we've included that here and we're going to also change this out output errors as command response we're gonna turn it off using disabled and down here we're going to select where we want this code to run so only run in the following channels we're going to select the counter channel there we go so that's pretty much it now that we have everything set up correctly let's paste the code i'm going to copy all of this all of this here we go up until it says end i'm going to copy and i'm going to paste here we go we have the first command and save changes good now let's click on the tab again and let's create a second command right and this one is going to be trigger type command it is selected by default and we have the trigger which is count I'm going to paste count and i'm going to delete this real quick and this is the whole command i'm gonna click this right here and I'm gonna paste this right here, right? So we have the command pasted. As you can see, all other options default. We don't have to change anything here, right? So we're gonna click save and let's go back to the counter and let's do the same thing with all of these. I'm not gonna speed it up because some people need that step-by-step -step every step of the way. 
So sorry if you're accustomed to me going fast. I apologize for this one. Um, so the command, it's going to be next count. I'm going to paste it here. You see the fault command mentioned prefix, all of the options default. I'm going to delete this, delete. And this is the command for the third one. We're going to copy this. Neighbors are being very noisy. All right. So we're going to leave, leave everything default. We have the command number four. We're going to click here, custom command. And then the other one is going to copy this, paste, delete the command and copy this one, copy and then paste. All right. We're going to save. And we have the last command, click on the counter, create custom command. As you can see, this one is regx. I think it means regular expression. So we're gonna copy the command, all of this right here, copy and then paste. And then we're gonna delete this right here. And it's a long one. So we're gonna go down and we're gonna copy everything. Copy and paste. Now, we're all done with the commands. Now we have to do one more thing. And it is, we're going to go to this, to the first one, to the regex A. We're gonna go edit, and I'm gonna expand it real quick. We need to, we need to replace some values with the ID of our role. So before I go down, let's go to our server. Let me zoom out a little, right? So I'm going to server settings, and then roles. And on this role, on the counter role, I need to right click and then click copy ID. If you don't have copy ID, you need to turn on developer mode on. You should have an info card in the upper right corner that shows you how to do it. Just pause this video, go and learn how to turn on developer mode and then come back. So we have copy ID. That is the ID of that role. If I paste it, as you can see, this number is the role ID for the counter role in my server. So we need to replace this value in this code. We're going to look for give role. Where is it? Give role. It's going to be here it is give role ID user ID. We're going to replace this value selected right click paste boom. You see now we changed. So now we're going to do the same thing down here. Select the default role and we're going to right click right click and then paste. There we go. That's all we needed to do, right? So we're going to go down and save the changes. And we should have our counter thing set up. Let's test it out. I'm going to open this out. Wait, I'm going to bring in another user because I'm going to need. Okay, so I need two users. That's why I have the window side by side. Because when you're counting, you cannot count all of the numbers yourself. That's the code is programmed to allow only one person to send a number. So for example, if I start counting, it won't, it won't let me. So before we initialize the counter, we need to start the count. So we do dash set count and number one, right? That's where we want it to, to start from, right? So we do set count to one. It eliminates the previous message and that's probably going to go away later. If it doesn't, you can eliminate it yourself, right? So let's start the count with one. All right, the one went through. If I try to type the two, it will not allow me because the code is meant so that only one person can speak once that I need to wait until someone else um, in order for me to send a message again. So I do two, boom, it's going to delete the two, as you can see. Now, if with my other user, I type the two, boom, it stays. If I type the three, all right, it stays. And now if with this other user, I'm like, no, I want it to be an eight. It will not allow it because the next count is actually four. So if we do four, it stays. If I do six, which is not the next count, it deletes it, you know? So it has this constant curation of what's been sent, right? So you can only send the next number. Five, if I try to type again, um, six, boom, it deletes it. Like it only allows one person at a time and only the next number. Six, and then seven, and then eight. Oop, no, trying to be slick, man. No, all right, nine. All right, again, no. 
trying to be slick man it's eight there you go and every time you mess up you get a message um from the bot it's saying like you know you cannot send messages twice and stuff like that whenever you mess up you get that um message from the bot and if you want to modify what the bot says then you can go and wrestle with the code yourself i'm not gonna go too deep into that well i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to the channel have a wonderful rest of the day my friends and stay safe out there